So next up here, we're looking at improvements overall being made to Copilot for Microsoft 365 with better graph grounded chat. Um, this has been being able to talk to Copilot and ask it to reference your files and your chats and your emails has been fantastic. But it has at the same time been a little bit lackluster in some areas. And for those of you that have already adopted Copilot, I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about. So Microsoft is making several improvements to this uh, this September, uh, so this month, to make uh, that graph grounding and chat a little bit better. And when I talk about the chat experience, again, I'm talking about when you go to chat in Teams or you go to kind of uh, copilot.microsoft.com and you click on like that work tab at the top to ask Copilot questions specifically about files, meetings, um, Teams messages within your organization. So first off, one of the things that Copilot has done so far with Outlook is it has been able to kind of see that top level inbox. So it can see messages in your inbox, but it's not always as good at looking at subfolders or in this case, as it's mentioned here on the screen, is that archive mailbox. So if you have a retention policy in place that every three months, um, old mail that's no longer relevant is getting pushed into an online archive folder, Copilot hasn't been able to do a good job of finding that stuff today. So that's gonna be an improvement that we see, as well as the ability for you to, when you're chatting with it, navigate into specific folders or subfolders within your mailbox uh, to better prioritize and understand messages that maybe you've moved out of your primary inbox location uh, and it wasn't able to see before. Another area where Copilot is getting better too is, so today it's good at looking at meeting chats and one-on-one -on -one chats, but it kind of fails to get good relevant information uh, when you're trying to see what's in a group conversation. So they're making improvements to that finally. Um, I'm very excited to see that. I think that this is part of the broader strategy as they're starting to move closer to that team co-pilot where it's almost like you're going to have an automated assistant in the chat room acting like a person rather than just an AI bot that you ask questions to during your meeting. Uh, one other thing too that is worth mentioning is on top of improving how it's working in Outlook and Teams, we're also seeing significant improvements um, in its ability to kind of reason with larger data sources via prompts. So today, Copilot is fairly limited to kind of short messages. With these improvements, we're gonna see an increase from 2,000 to 16,000 characters. So if you've got someone on your team that is copying and pasting a lot of information out of like a news article and dumping it into a chat, whether it be in a meeting, a one-on-one -on -one chat, a group chat, is Copilot is gonna be able to do a better job of specifically looking at that and being able to put it more in context. Copilot also recently rolled out to Microsoft OneDrive and it's gonna be able to do a better job of graph grounding when you're talking to it in the Teams chat area or the copilot.microsoft.com area of understanding, hey, you not only have files out there on SharePoint or a file shared in Teams or Outlook, but I can also see files that are sitting on your OneDrive that maybe you shared, or maybe you're trying to add a file on your OneDrive. So it's gonna be able to do a better job of finding those type of things and pull them into the larger context when you're having those prompt-based conversations with Copilot. And again, it's important to remember too, is when you're having those conversations with Copilot, you wanna make sure that you're providing context a clear goal, as much information as possible. It's not just a Google search with Copilot of type three words and expect back the world. Instead, what you really need to do is kind of have a conversation with it, almost like you're talking to someone that you work with on a daily basis. But these improvements to Copilot graph grounding for chat, it's gonna be great. I've already seen some of this in my day-to-day -day get better, and I'm seeing more and more of this start to improve in Outlook, even outside of the chat experience when I'm trying to reference meetings or files uh, or recurring meetings on my calendar. So Microsoft is really going quite a ways to add on, add on and enhance to the additional value of Copilot here. And I'm excited to see how this continues to grow and evolve uh, as we head into Ignite in November uh, and into the beginning of next year.